Welcome to another video from SQLMaestros.com. My name is Amit Bansal and I'm going to be your host for this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about not in clause not working. Now, what do I mean by not in clause not working? In most of the forums that I visit, I occasionally see users uh, putting out a question that they have written a, a query, uh, a construct, a SQL construct, and they have used not in clause in that construct. And when they run their query, uh, it does not throw an error, but it always returns an empty result set. Now, this is a really an interesting case because most of the users perceive this to be a, as a logical bug, but this is actually not a logical bug. In almost all cases that I've seen, uh, not in clause actually returns an empty result set because it is being used against a, uh, against a subquery where the uh, inner subquery returns one of the values as null. So the target column for that particular table uh, contains a null value and uh, the outer query compares uh, the values being returned from the inner query and one of the values is null uh, which is an unknown value and any comparison to the unknown value uh, returns unknown which uh, in turn uh, is uh, considered as false in that logical comparison uh, because of which uh, the entire query construct returns uh, an empty result set. So this is a this is very well known uh, yet yet not really uh, well known with a lot of people who are just learning uh, SQL Server or just has they have begun their career with uh, SQL Server. So with this uh, uh, quick demo, I want to show you uh, uh, this per special case of not in clause not working uh, with the uh, uh, null thing. And uh, this also um, uh, explains a very important aspect of SQL Server which is uh, null behaves very differently with different elements of uh, SQL Server. So let's uh, watch this quick demo. Let's begin. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm using TempDB and I'm going to work with two tables, TBL customers and TBL orders. So let's first go ahead and create TBL customers. It's a very simple table with two columns, customer ID, which is of type integer, and customer name, which is of type varchar with a length of 50. In customers table, we will insert three records. Let's insert the first record with a value of customer ID as one and customer name as A. Second record, customer ID two, value of customer name uh, is B. Now notice that in the third record, I'm intentionally not supplying a value for customer name, which means when I insert this record, a null will get inserted into customer name because note that I have not put any uh, constraint here, which means uh, this column by default is nullable. So this is what our TBL customers looks like with three records. And you can observe that there is a null for the third record. Our second table is TBL orders. It's a representative of an orders table and has two columns, order ID, which is integer, and again, customer name, which is varchar 50. We are again going to insert three records into this uh, table, values 1A. So we have a customer, a record for customer A. We insert a record for customer B, which is, which means B also exists in our customers table. Now notice that uh, my third order, which is order ID three, I have a customer name as C. Now C as a customer name does not exist in my customer's table. And again, this is intentional. Now this is what our TBL orders looks like with three records and three specific customer names. Now what I want to do is I want to get so let me just move this down a little. I want to get all the customers from TBL orders and those customers should not exist in my TBL customers. That's my requirement. And the construct for this is select cust name from TBL orders. And I put a predicate on cust name, not in, and then my subquery will return individual customer names from the customers. When I run this, all of us would expect that C is going to be returned because C as a customer name exists in TBL orders, but does not exist in TBL customers. When I execute this, surprisingly, we get an empty result set. 
Now, why do we get an empty result set? So here is the explanation for that. When we use NOT IN clause, NOT IN clause is nothing but a series of NOT equal to operators. So this query essentially, this construct essentially is select cust name from TVL orders where cust name NOT equal to A or NOT equal to B or NOT equal to C, so on and so forth. Now the values that are being returned by this subquery and if I just execute this subquery, the values that get returned is, if you observe, will be A, B, and this is the culprit, null, because of which we get an empty result set. So when a null is being returned, the outer query has to compare uh, every individual value with every value from the inner query, and a comparison with null returns an unknown. Now null is an unknown value, and anything you compare with unknown is also going to result in unknown. Now in this logical comparison, this unknown is treated as false uh, by this construct, which in turn returns an empty result set. And that is because, uh, and that's why uh, you get an empty result set and, and we see not in uh, as not working, or we see that not in is, is actually has a logical bug, but there's no logical bug here. This is just how null behaves differently in different uh, elements of SQL Server. So there are multiple ways on how we can actually fix this. One of the ways is we can get rid of null by supplying another additional uh, predicate inside our subquery where we can say select cust name from TBL customers where cust name is not null. And this is going to eliminate all the nulls. And when we execute this query uh, along with that additional predicate, we are going to get our uh, customer C uh, returned back. We can also use not exist clause. Uh, that's that's really nice and it's preferred sometimes over not in. And you could also use except. So that's about um, that's about not in uh, not working. Uh, hope you liked it. So in this uh, quick demo, I wanted to show you this specific behavior of not in clause uh, when used with null. Uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, thanks for watching and do share it. Um, you can visit sqlmaestros.com to know more about us. Our Twitter handle is at the rate sqlmaestros and Facebook is slash sqlmaestros. If you want to know more about me, you can visit amitbansal.net, Twitter at the rate a underscore bansal, Facebook slash Amit RS Bansal. So one of the users uh, after watching our video asked me a question, how is the sound quality so good? Well, the sound quality is good because of this.